Hey guys, for this video we're doing a little upgrade on the Jeep Gladiator soundbar. I actually have a couple of different items in front of you. I want to make sure we're all on the same page of what you're getting and what's in front of you here. So this is the Select Increments JL JT soundbar pods. And this is for people with the premium uh, Alpine system. And if you're not sure if you have it or not, look behind your back seat. If you have a subwoofer, you have the premium. If you don't, you have the standard. This is for people with the premium. And you can get the pods. I have an entire kit here, the pods with the kicker speakers. You can also get it individually. You could just get these and then get whatever speakers you want to put in them. And then the kicker speakers we have for the video that we're going to be installing are the CSS 67s. You get the speakers, you get the tweeters to go with it. And you see we have the separate holes already cut in for that. So you can get it as a kit or you can get the individual pieces. If you get your just the pods, you can put basically any six and a half inch or six and three quarter inch speakers that you want. Now, when you get just the pods, you still get this other stuff. You still get the wire connectors that you're going to need. You still get the little foamy to put on the back, to give it a little seal, the hardware and the instructions. So this stuff is all part of the kit. And then also the speakers. If you just get the non kit, it's that. Hopefully that'll make sense. Now let's get this all opened up, start installing it, and then we'll eventually get out to the Jeep and install it there as well. Everything that came in the kicker box. Before we start following these instructions and seeing what we gotta do also, let me give you a close up of the pods so you get an idea what they look before we start putting speakers in them. There's a ton of options when it comes to upgrading the speakers in your Jeep. And I spent a lot of time trying to decide which ones I wanted to go with. I ultimately decided there is no consensus on a best route to go. And I really liked this because other options, you end up cutting the sound bar. And I don't want to make any permanent changes because if I did that and then I didn't like it after the fact, I just cut it up and I can't go back and I can't change to something else. So this one... We shouldn't have to modify at all or maybe not too much. We might have to drill a hole or two from what I heard from people, but we're going to see. We're going to find out. Let's uh, start with whatever they say is step one. We got the instructions over there. For our installation, we're not going to use the crossovers provided by Kicker, so we'll just put those off to the side so they're out of the way. We also have this little bag of hardware. You're not going to use the clips, but the screws with the big head on them, that's what we're going to use for mounting our speakers here soon. So put them off to the side, but we will use those. The first thing we're going to do is install the tweeters. And it says that we need to cut off these ends. And we are going to splice in the ends from here with the supplied butt connectors. Make sure to give yourself enough wire. It says only like four or five inches. I'm going to leave myself like a lot of wire. I'd rather have more wire than less wire. Because one you can come back from, the other you can't. I'm going to cut our wire basically in the middle and give it a little strip. And we'll have to do the same thing to our connector here. This is the smaller of the two connectors. We'll crimp on these butt connectors and give it a little slap and tickle. Make sure it's got a good grab on it and move on to the second one. And two for two. Put the tweeter end on. You'll notice that on these wires, which one is it? This one here has a black stripe. So black stripe to black, no black stripe to white. Once the wiring's all done, we need to install the tweeter in the pod. And you can see it just has this collar that screws off. You'll feed it through the hole here, just like so. Line up your logo and everything if you care about it, wherever you want. And then we'll just screw that nut right onto the back again. May have to adjust the alignment of that once we get it in there and see exactly what it looks like, but that's all you have to do. I went with the taller collar because I figure it gives you more room to grab. Now before we install the larger speakers, they want us to take out our existing speakers in the sound bar, so we're going to do that. But also the other thing that the other thing that you have to do is put this foamy stuff along this back lip so it's a peel and stick you're just going to go right around this on both of those and then cut it if there's any excess and I figure let's go ahead and do that while we're playing around in here mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the tweeter and the foamy on the other pod and then start taking apart our soundbar. We need to remove our stock grills and speakers in the soundbar so you have four of those bolts to get the grill off. We need to remove our little foamy guy there and then each speaker has some Torx screws, bolts there and there. I believe they're T20. That ain't it. They are T20. We'll need to disconnect our wire harness. If you look at the plug where it's green right there. Just press in on this little tab and it'll slide out. Also, the instructions want us to put our screws back in. So sure, why not put them in tight so they don't rattle or come loose later. Second speaker plug, pretty similar. You still just pinch that little tab and it'll pull right off. Next thing we're going to do is... T30 Torx on these to get this little port off. So there's four bolts there. Double check. Yep, T30. One side disassembled, one to go. Here's what the port looks like that you're pulling out. So it has to kind of come down this way. It also has a little gasket that you can pull off as well. We need to install our new pods next. While you're here, you can fill these cavities with some polyfill. Mine's supposed to come here tomorrow, so I'm going to be taking it back apart to put it in. But for now, we'll put it together like so. Now here is your connection for that new tweeter. So we're going to plug that in first and then get our new pod in position. You can reuse the factory bolts that you took out, but they mentioned in the instructions that it might be difficult. They might be a little short. Uh, try compressing that foam gasket a little bit as you're trying to get them started. Otherwise, they do give you a little bag with replacement bolts but then you also have to go with their washers because the head on the originals are a little bigger so i'm going to try the originals first but i'm not going to try real hard we may go with the the new ones first pod is all installed i will say overall it looks pretty good this is a pretty unsightly seam right here uh, the fit is good there's no way you're ever going to use the original hardware. It, that wasn't going to happen. So I did have to go with theirs. And I'll say it's a little disappointing because obviously the hardware is made where you could have a bigger head on it and you wouldn't have to have the separate washer because that just looks terrible. So I might have to go find my own hardware so it doesn't look this bad. Um, but it's disappointing that they didn't put in the effort to do that. But okay. It's your product with your name on it, not mine. Now let's do the other side. Time to put our other speaker in. And here's the thing. Okay, this is like a bundle of two individual things that were put together, but it's not really a kit in any reasonable way because, and this comes with, if you just get the pods, you get the hardware, that's bad. That should not be included. Now, the other thing is they want you to use the screws from Kicker because they can't provide their own. And these are the screws they want you to use. And then they even mentioned in the instructions, if you position your speaker to where you need to put a screw right here, the screw's too long. So it's going to go through and it's going to put a hole in your sound bar. Now, as long as you're using these pods, it feels like that hole's going to be blocked. But if you were ever to remove this, you're going to end up with a hole there, which may or may not be blocked by the original grill. I guess my whole point is then just provide the right screw they say to get the hole start the screw then take it out cut the screw and then put it back in now how about you just provide the right screw how about that why not that why was that not a thought why is that not an option so hopefully we don't have a screw in this area but we'll save that one for last and uh we'll see what happens all right one side down, one to go. All installed. That's what they look like from the back seat. Give you a view from the front seat. And what it looks like from the other side of the vehicle. Let's give it a little test. Played a bunch of different songs and have a couple of thoughts for you. First off, it definitely sounds better than the stock speakers. Now, the only addition to that is I've already replaced my front speakers under the dash with the Kenwoods 
uh, that are kind of popular to put in these things. So I've already changed those and then changing these, but it definitely sounds better than the stock speaker, especially at a higher volume. It's just, it's, it's crisper, cleaner sounding. Uh, one thing I did notice is for the balance fade thing, I brought it up one to two steps. I kind of messed with it back and forth to bring more to the front because I, I felt like these were overpowering a little bit on the backside. So I brought it up a step or two to the front and I thought that sounded better. But overall, I really like them. I, I wish company cared more about like little details like just the hardware it's, it's it's nothing extra just you know maybe it was just an afterthought and not whatever so the pods feel like they're pretty good quality as far as it's a thick plastic they don't really flex or anything it feels sturdy it's a pretty close match to the texture of the interior it's not exact but it is it's close enough they fit pretty well sounds better Overall, pretty good. So there it is. Thanks for watching.